Good morning. Well, it's half past ten. I'm still in my pyjamas. It's a beautifully sunny day. Um, I've had to pull this blind halfway down, get the sun out of my eyes. But it looks like it's going to be beautiful. Um, but we're being very lazy this morning. Little dude's playing on his tablet. The dogs and cats are all chilled out. There's Luna's bottom. Not moving for anyone. <laughs> and I've been doing a little um, Google Maps search of the area to see what's around, what's local. And it turns out that there's a Waffle House about 11 minutes walk away that opens at noon. So we've had a quick chat, very quick chat. But of course, what child doesn't want waffles for lunch? So I guess that's what we'll be doing. There's a beautiful walk along the river at the back of this campsite that will take you to a miniature railway um, thing. But unfortunately, it's closed today. It's only open on Thursdays and Sundays. So no good for us this weekend, which is a real shame. But uh, right near there is a cafe and this waffle house. So, uh, yeah, we quite fancy the waffle house today, don't we? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yeah, they do. Waffles, pancakes, crepes, all manner of, of lovely, heavenly, fatty goodness. <laughs> Not the healthiest lunch, but who cares when you're having a weekend away and uh, this little guy certainly deserves it after his first week of school. And we'll be taking a different walk back because there's a massive play park at the bottom of the road uh, that leads up to this campsite. And I know he's he's really missing out on play parks at the moment, so we'll be doing that, hopefully. So that's our plans for the day. Nothing terribly exciting, but should be lovely. And I'm quite looking forward to waffles or pancakes myself. I think to get to the Waffle House, yes. we have to cross over that bridge. 
through, just have a look at the map. <laughs> oh, let's have a look. Yeah. Well, there's some boats down there. Really pretty, isn't it? I wonder if that's an old boat. To me, it looks like it. That it might not be that garden, old. Garden, mummy. To me, look like a boat. Mm -hmm. Floating boat. This is very pretty, isn't it? Yeah. I wonder if that tree falls on down. Check it out, we've got blue skies, sunshine, and the most beautiful walk through uh, a Greenlands, <laughs> we're in Sydney, it's through some Greenland forest next to the Great River Ooze. And now we're at the Riverside Park, which is beautiful, really lovely. And uh, I stopped and quickly asked a local which way to the Waffle House. And apparently, it's that way. So uh, that way we're going. Who wants a waffle? Me. Do you want a waffle or a pancake? Both. Both? <laughs> Heavens, this might prove expensive. <laughs> Wasn't that the cutest train you ever did yeah. see? Double scoop. Mm. Yummy. Have you tried the Eaton Mess flavour yet? That's at the bottom. Mm. So which one's the best, Eaton Mess or Bonoffi? I think the Uh-huh. That looks lush. Mm -hmm. So no Waffle House. <laughs> Instead, it's turned into uh, a kind of ice cream, ice cream. parlour. Um, I can't eat ice cream. <laughs> my, my teeth are far too sensitive. But a little dude here is, is very, very happy with his ice cream and I've got a latte instead. There are definitely worse ways to spend an afternoon, aren't there? Is that here with my coffee? And the dogs. This one snuck up on the seat. She doesn't think she's a dog. And the sun is off. He's in the play park just over there. And I'm situated quite nicely where I can keep an eye on him. So, it's, uh, yeah, very relaxed, very peaceful. A nice way to while away the time. And I get to people watch because there's loads of people here and loads of dogs. Which is keeping Amber entertained. going to stay up. Um, Nurse Rose moved. Every time we do anything they're going to blow over aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> this is the dumbest game ever. <laughs> this is the dumbest game ever. It's, it's definitely not designed for outdoor breezes is it? No. We should have done it in tonight's dinner <laughs> a 
as ever. <laughs> um, uh, for my explorations of Tesco this week, this was on special offer. Tricolor Noki, Mini Noki. Uh, so I thought I'd try those ones. I've never had Mini Noki before. I thought it might be nice. Um, some garden peas. I've got some baby leaf spinach that I need to, to use up. And I need to use up this mascarpone from during the week. And I've got a fresh tub with me just in case. I'm gutted. I forgot to bring grated cheddar cheese with me. Uh, but I have got some parmesan, so that will add some extra salt in there. And tinned pink salmon that I've just opened. Now, after last uh, holiday, when I realised I couldn't use my frying pan, I did go out and buy a frying pan for the induction hob. So we're sorted there. So I'm going to stir fry the spinach, uh, cook the mini gnocchi, and then mix it all together and see what happens. done and dusted Saturday evening and we go home tomorrow not if it was just a, a quick two night getaway to celebrate the start of school and the start of back to whatever normal is at the moment but thoroughly enjoyed it this is a beautiful campsite we did find the poo bin today only one I don't know if there's more than one but we have only found one uh, for anyone who's interested it's by the motorhome service point so uh, yes, beautiful walks around here. Um, there are more places that I would like to have explored, but I'm, I'm thinking this is a campsite we'll definitely come back to. It, it's close enough to home to be ideal for, for a weekend getaway and is so very pretty. The pictures are a good size, nice and level. The walks along the Great River Ooze are beautiful. They really are, and I would like to see it in different seasons as well. Um, yeah, the Riverside Park that we visited today is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. So it's it's definitely a campsite I would recommend. I really would, and and certainly for us, this is going on my list of cheeky weekend getaways. If we want easy, 
and this is where one of the places we can come to so I'm quite pleased about that. No major dramas, no issues, no hassles, it's just nice, nice place to come and, and just enjoy being away with a different view. So yes, got my iPad set up. I'm now going to settle down and watch the next two episodes of my series. And tomorrow I will go home in time to get all the school uniforms washed back to reality. Yes, as ever, until our next one. I do have a, another campsite book this year and that's in October. We're going to go to Canterbury. And after that I don't know if we'll have any more this year and that's the trouble with missing so much summer and spring that the season has been very very short for daylight hours. All right mate, call me. But it's really daylight hours that we need. I'm not so worried about temperature and weather but daylight hours are definitely a necessity when it's you know looking at weekend breaks away and time off. But we definitely have one more book anyway. Until then, I shall bid you good night. Love you lots. Bye.